There it is. <laughs> that was crazy. All right, guys, what is up? What is up? I uh, just walked into my room, and first I just want to say happy, happy New Year to everybody. Still a few uh, hours left here on the East Coast before we kick it off in the New Year. Uh, just sit back. I'm going to go for a while. I'm going to talk about everything. And actually, let me do this part with the lights off. Um, I do have some really bright lights up here in this room so that I can film. So uh, if I'm filming something outside of these detolve cabinets. And let me start with these detolve cabinets. I'm going to go left to right, try to cover everything. Uh, again, this is going to be a really long video. Uh, to start, I've got these little tables here. I don't know if you guys can see those well or not in this low light, but I've got these tables and this is what my detolves are on. Um, I just recently moved into this particular space. Uh, I plan on adding at least two more detolves that I'm going to squeeze in here, um, but I do want to go, like I said, left to right. There's my guitar that I like to mess around with from time to time. I've got a poster frame, a glass one back there that I'm going to hang at some point. Um, like I said, I just got into this space, but uh, whoever's watching, welcome. Uh, we're going to start and we're going to go through this whole thing. Now, everything that you see in this space is from uh, a little over a year. So about, we'll say a year and let's see, August, September, October, November, December, a year and five months. So everything that you're going to see in this video is over the last year and five months of collecting. Um, I've had to catch up really quickly. Uh, because I just got the itch and I finally got the space and I had the funds to do this. So I went ahead and pulled the trigger. So here we go. All right, let's start on this detail right here. And I've got all of my details facing each other in and out. So I'm going to open it up for a second. Um, I want to say right in the back that that's an Asmus Toys, uh, but that's the one six scale uh, Major Marquez Warren from The Hateful Eight, one of my favorite movies. One of my favorite figures, really like him. Um, I do like to do a lot of museum poses, uh, so that's just kind of how I roll. Um, some stuff I do more dynamic, but primarily I like museum poses. Up front, this is one of my grail pieces. This is my uh, Wesley Snipes blade from uh, Blade Part 2. I uh, just really like him with the coat on and the sword out with his machine pistol going, machine gun. Awesome figure. Uh, this is from Hot Toys. It's an older figure, but I really like it. Um, in the back, I can't remember who makes this, but this shredder is sick. Let me slide Blade over a bit so you guys can see him. Uh, just an awesome figure. If you're into turtles, this from my childhood, uh, just amazing. This piece came with the mutagen and it came with the uh, stand that has shredder written on it. Not a great stand, but an amazing figure. Super awesome. Really like that one quite a bit. So this is the top shelf. I also have the uh, Django. Uh, Stevie, Steven, sitting right there. He's looking up at Blade. Like, I know he, who this, I ain't gonna even say the word, think he is, but it's pretty funny. I uh, really like that character. I love that. It's kind of, he's got the real clothes on. I just really like all the Samuel L. Jackson stuff, so you'll see some more of him in my collection as we keep going. Um, once we get down here to this next shelf here, we've got a Play Arts Kai Spider-Man, which I really like, and he's just gonna be hanging out right now until my Hot Toys uh, Tech Suit Spider-Man comes in this year sometime. Uh, this is my Hot Toys Hulk from Age of Ultron. Awesome. Love him. I'm trying to decide if I'm going to go with the Planet Hulk or not. Not sure at this point. Um, here's Leonardo in the quarter scale from NECA. Um, he's holding a piece of pizza, pointing. <laughs> I really like Leo. I want the other turtles. I just, at this point, don't freaking... Can't find them in my town. So if anybody has any and see anything in my collection that they're thinking about wanting to trade, let's let's make a deal. Talk to me. Uh, here is my uh, one six scale Ant Man. This is the one I like. I like this one over the one from the Civil War movie. I just think it's the better of the two. Um, it just looks awesome. Um, his face sculpt is good. The way the magnetics work. Then it's got this little small Ant-Man in there. Then you got Anthony with another little small Ant-Man riding right there. By the way, there's a large mutant uh, canister there. Just really cool. And I just love this Ant-Man. He's just one of my favorite pieces. I probably will never let him go. So let me show you this shelf. Sorry, guys. Trying to move back and forth is a pain. It's kind of tight in here. So, yeah, that's that shelf. So let's go to the next shelf. Couple quarter scales here. City Hunter is my favorite predator um, outside of the wolf predator. 
I just like the City Hunter because it was cool. Um, the movie was not the best at the time, but as I watch it since I've gotten older, I really like it. Really do like him a lot. Got Deadpool back there, but I've got Freddy Krueger's head on him in the quarter scale because I also have that quarter scale Freddy in the other room. And that just looks different. And that's what I would imagine that Deadpool's skin looks more like what Freddy Krueger looks like. So I think it's a great representation. Right down below, we've got uh, Michael Jackson. And this is the zombified version. I've been meaning to turn him back to the regular. Um, I've also got uh, my guy here. This is... Which Predator is this? Scar. I had to think of it for a second. This is Scar Predator from AVP, which wasn't a bad movie, wasn't a great movie, but I do like that Predator quite a bit. Um, Hot Toys, I got him off eBay because I got him a little later, and I would love to get Chopper, and I'd love to get uh, Celtic, especially because I like the bio mask, but this is really cool. Um, this is a figure I wasn't going to get, this Deadpool. And I didn't want him at first, but then I decided that I wanted him. I've got him in a pose where he's kind of drawing his sword. Um, he's got the, looks like a 50 cal pointed out. And I've got it where it's kind of discharging the bullet. But um, after I watched that movie, I really liked it. I like Ryan Reynolds in the role, and I really like the suit. And I think Hot Toys killed it. Um, I like this one better than the Sideshow version. So I decided to pull the trigger, and I went ahead and got it. So, yes, pretty cool figure. All right, let's go on this other shelf. Now, one thing I will say is that I'm primarily a, let me open it up. I'm primarily a horror collector. So you're going to see a lot of horror sci-fi stuff because that's just really what I'm into. But I collect other stuff as well. So if you look down here, you've got my Sideshow Freddy, which a lot of people shit on this figure. Um, but I like this figure a lot. Um, it's a great figure to me. Uh, it's just got a lot of character. Uh, the paint. Is probably not as good in the face area, but overall, I really like it. Um, this is a Masco Part 7 Jason with the X, and I bought this from one of the shops here uh, that I go to in Atlanta. They just had it loose, um, and it was okay. The neck was messed up, so I broke the neck and fixed it. Works really good. Right behind him is a Masco Pinhead. Uh, I think from part three, that's the only one I see them make figures for is part three Hellraiser for whatever reason. But it's in the one six scale, so it fits well. And I think the pins look pretty good on that figure. Hopefully my camera will focus. I think it's a pretty good figure. Um, here's one of my statue uh, Jasons. I can't remember who makes that. I like it okay, but there's the one thing is it's lean. I think he's leaning forward a little bit too much. I like to have him standing up a little bit more. Um, but thanks to artifacts or somebody, I can't remember who makes this, this, uh, this guy, but I, I like him a lot. And we, we got him when, when I was up in Atlanta as well. Um, I just wish he stood a little bit taller cause he looks just a little bit on the short side, uh, in my opinion. Um, this is a custom that I built. Uh, this is Quinlan from, if you ever watched the strain, uh, I still have to make his sword and I still have to do a little bit of other work to him, uh, to get him quite perfect the way that i want him <clears throat> excuse me but i think the head sculpt is there it's a cool look and he's got two machine guns right now he is missing his sword and i think he'll look a lot better once he gets that but if you ever watch the strain that looks just like him and he was one of my favorite characters from that series so when i found a head sculpt that some artist had did online i jumped on it and we built this kit bash really cool one six scale so here's this shelf as it stands right now. Now, I will be moving some stuff around because I've got a lot of pre-orders and a lot of things coming. So look for me to do some changing. Um, and I'll do an update video, say, around summertime to give you guys a better idea of how the collection looks then. If you go to the next shelf, uh, one of another figure I'll never get rid of. I'm trying to get this thing to focus. My iPhone's acting crazy. My Captain America. This is also from Age of Ultron. Like this one because he's got the magnetic shield. Amazing figure. I got him holding his uh, his mask helmet, if you will. Um, just an awesome figure. Really like him. The one thing I don't like is that um, he's looking off to the left a little bit. I would love a head sculpt where he's looking to the front. So I may try to find another head sculpt, uh, like a custom. But otherwise, I really like this figure. This is my Iron Man from the very end of the movie. Um, same movie, Age of Ultron's Battle Damage. He's standing there on the base, which is really cool. 
Uh, really like that figure as well. Very heavy. Uh, I was wanting to sell this figure because I'm not a big Iron Man fan, but my wife, she wants to keep it, so we'll keep it for now. But he's probably not long for my collection as I will definitely uh, be getting rid of him. Uh, thanks for the for the comment, uh, Yellow. Now, let's look at Ghost Rider. He's also 1-6 scale too, and he is amazing. This is from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Ghost Rider. Uh, and Robbie Reyes, I've read the comic from Robbie Reyes, but I've never done a lot with him otherwise. Um, but this figure is awesome. And man, Hot Toys killed it. You got the fire flames coming down here. Uh, these cabinets come from Ikea. Um, so if you have an Ikea in your town, don't try to order them on, on uh, online. It's too expensive for the shipping. But if you go to the store, they're like only 70 something bucks a piece. I definitely recommend them if you collect figures of any kind or like helmets or masks or anything. They're really good. Yeah, Detoff, that's what it is. And these are the ones with the dark wood. Uh, but but back to this figure, this guy's cool. I've got him with the molten flame uh, chain, and he's holding it. It's just a sick figure. I really like this head sculpt. It's just an awesome, awesome, awesome figure. And I really, really like this particular um, Ghost Rider. Behind him is King T'Challa, which everybody's going to be hearing a lot about because the Black Panther movie is going to be dropping in a about a month, uh, a little bit over a month. So here is the... Civil War version Black Panther the only one that's out right now and I know it's a little dark because he's kind of in the background um, But he's holding Slide Ghost Rider a little bit so you guys can see he's holding the and let me come over to the side so you can see there you go he's holding the Black Panther mask back there and He I ordered his head sculpt from overseas and it looks really good. You can't really tell it from here because he's not in the light like these guys are. But man, that's an awesome head sculpt. And that's a great figure. So this is my Marvel shelf, if you will. And I think it looks really good. I'm really happy with it. Next shelf up is one of my favorite shelves. Uh, that Judge Dread, I just really like. I, I painted all the gold accents. And I just really, really like this figure a lot. He's awesome. Uh, Carl Urbine, I, I want to say it's his name. Just a sick figure. Man, that's how I, I would expect Judge Dredd to look. Behind him, we've got RoboCop. Can't go wrong with RoboCop. Another robot in here, too. Oh, yeah. We've got um, Arnold Schwarzenegger. I was talking to my wife about Arnold today and how he, to me, was the king of action movies in the 80s and early 90s because he just had hit after hit after hit. Um, I do plan to get a Commando figure in 1-6 scale. But man, and I also want to get the battle damage terminator. But this one is sick. Got the pistol tucked in his pants, doing appendix carry before it was cool. Uh, got the uh, grenade launcher, and he's got the shotgun. Just super, super. Oh yeah, Last Action Hero was a great movie. But just a super sick figure. Um, I decided to go with the sideshow Punisher because I think it's an awesome figure. I mean, he's got more grenades and and you name it than anything and i love the comic book uh punisher um he's got the got the white gloves he's got the white boots uh just and he's got the the vest on in this particular image i just love i love frank castle castle he's a great anti-hero and i had to have one in my collection and i really thought that this would be a really cool one for me going up top We've got the evil Superman, and we've got the Batman, the Batfleck, Ben Affleck Batman, and we've got the bank robber Joker, um, and these are from three different continuities, go figure, but I liked all three of these pieces for different reasons when I picked them up. Uh, for Joker, it was the head scope difference, and I like him in this outfit as opposed to his traditional colors. Uh, the bank robber scene was amazing. Um, and I just thought that this was a really cool figure. Amazing head sculpt. Really like the Joker uh, in that specific scene. And I like this particular Superman. For me, Christopher Reeves will always be Superman. Sorry to anybody else. Uh, he just will be. And even though this is the evil Superman, I like the more muted colors of the suit. I like the little bit of stubble on his face. And, I mean, he's still Superman. He looks great to me. And this is my Superman. So this is my representation. And I really, really like Baflack. 
uh, Ben Affleck Batman, amazing. Um, he's just one of my favorites um, to to play. I do really have a soft spot for Michael Keaton too. Like that Batman. Don't have one yet, but I do plan to get one. So here is my DC shelf for right now. All right, we'll close those up. And let's get over to another case. So, recently, I've been getting into statues, and I just want to show you guys and share with you a couple statues that I've recently acquired. Um, this is the, both of these are premium format, and they're about 21, 22 inches tall. And by premium format, what that means is is, is mixed media. Basically, you have clothing and you have polystone uh, mixed in together. But these are amazing. So this one is the Legend of Crystal Lake, Jason Voorhees. Both of these are based on roughly part three, different parts in part three. Very different looks. Um, so I'm going to do both of these at the same time. Um, if I had to pick one to go with, I would go with the much older one, which is on your right. But I like both of these. And these are both polystone uh, figures. They're both massive. And I just, I'm a big Jason fan, as you'll see uh, coming up here in a couple seconds. But... I just like these two representations, one with the axe, one with the machete. Uh, he uses both equally. And this one is the exclusive on the left. The one on the right is just the standard premium format. So it does come with um, the extra head sculpt and the additional weapon. Uh, these are my two newest cabinets, so I'm still, I still got some stuff to put in them. So stay tuned. You will see those filled up pretty soon. I have another figure to show uh, that's coming hopefully in the next week. Uh, also, in this case, we've got the, um, I forget which toy company this is, but this is the uh, now playing Pumpkinhead, and he is huge. Uh, just an awesome, awesome large figure. Here's my hand for comparison's sake. He's gigantic, and he's a beautiful figure. If you've never watched Pumpkinhead, please go take a look if you're into horror. Amazing figure. He doesn't weigh a whole lot, but the detail on him, and let me open this up like I did the others because you really deserve to see it. It's a beautiful picture. I mean, he is gnarly looking and just amazing. Uh, Stan Winston designed this figure, which is the same as uh, the guy who did the alien stuff. So that's why you may or may not know that name. But this is cool. I love Pumpkinhead a lot. And the company that made this, I can't remember the name of them, but they've, they've gone out of business and they made some really good stuff. So it's a shame. So this is, and let me step back, all that's in this particular case for now. And I am going to turn on the light so you can get a better look at everything. So my two premium formats and my pumpkin head. Let's move into my customs case. A lot of customs uh, in this next case. Not everything in here is customs, but there's a lot of custom stuff going on in here. So... To start off, we're going to go top to bottom this time. Right up front, we have Candyman. And this Candyman is from a Certificate of Authenticity from Creations Unearthed. Uh, this is one of six from that batch. So this Candyman is dope. He does have the coat that opens up. And he's got the, the nasty exposed in there. You can see all his rib cage and everything. So <laughs> sweet figure. Had to have him. Absolutely love Tony Todd. So when I had the opportunity to get this guy, I jumped on it. I also have Ash up here. These are also 1-6 scales as well. Um, Ash is just a mainstay. I, as a kid, Evil Dead number two was my favorite, but the Evil Dead series was great. So I've got him back there. This is the exclusive from Sideshow with uh, Henrietta's head. You've got the Necronomicon back there. And I'm going to be spreading some of these out so you can get a better look at them. But just an amazing piece. Uh, you've already saw my Pennywise head here. It's another custom. Um, I rehaired both of these heads because I want them to look more fuller. This one more kind of like an afro, if you will. And this head more sw swooshed back because he's pissed. But this is my Pennywise custom with the balloon. Um, just an amazing piece. He, this is the one where he says, eat battery acid. He sprays him with the asthma inhaler. His face melts. Beautiful head sculpt, beautiful hair, uh, beautiful outfit. Just an amazing piece that I'll probably never get rid of. And right below him is a custom piece that I had commissioned uh, by a gentleman out of Greece. And this is the new Pennywise, of course. Uh, 
just awesome. I forget what the the, the guy's uh, first name is, but Scarzar's his last name. He did an amazing job. Can't wait for that movie to come out in a couple weeks so I can watch it again and again and again. But here's just a basically a bust or a head of that Pennywise. And it just, it's a very sinister. And what I like is the artist who did this, he made multiples of these, but each one is very different. So depending on which one you got, it's just a different sculpt. So it's got the cracks in the forehead. The hair is amazing. The expression, <sighs> it's awesome. So really happy with this particular shelf. A lot of hits here. Then we go down to the one that really started it off for me with the 1-6 scale, Michael Myers stuff. So I'm still working on this. This is my custom. Um, all Two of these are one's customs head scopes. This one is not. That's a 3-0 figure that I recently got, which I love part six. Uh, but this is the remake. And then this is part one, um, Nick Castle. So this is uh, awesome, awesome, awesome. Sea Creations made the, the, the uh, coveralls for me. Um, I've got... Uh, I guess I think his name is Sam from uh, Trick or Treat down here too, hanging out. This is, I want to say, a Mezco figure, but this is a really cool figure. Um, I am still working on him. I've got to make him a little taller, so I'm going to put some ankle extensions in there because I don't think he's quite tall enough, but that is a sick Michael Myers if I ever see, saw one. Uh, got the clean hands, got the clenched fist. This Michael Myers is the Tyler Mayne, I think is who played him. I'm not sure. Uh, but this is the Rob Zombie, the really tall uh, Michael Myers, just huge. And I've got the other head from the mental institution back there, the other mask. Then we've got the 3-0 interpretation from part six. And a lot of people fell in love with this. Then they fell out of love because they said the ears and stuff weren't quite proportionate. I think it's a pretty good figure personally. Um, and I like him. I like the way he looks. And I, I've got him holding the knife a bit different. Um, just really... I like all of these for different reasons. You know, if I had to pick just one, I've got to go with the OG uh, on the left, uh, especially once I get his get his legs quite uh, legs worked out, get him a little taller. Um, here are all my um, certificates of authenticity for my different head scopes, and I've got one more up that I'll show you in a second. But yeah, Michael Myers, man, I love him. I wish they'd make more Michael Myers uh, merch. They don't because I understand there's some licensing issues, but man, if they did, I would definitely buy it up. Moving along, let me get down on one knee because this is my Jason shelf. And I don't know of anybody else that has this. If you do know somebody, let me know in the comment section. But this is the NES version in 1 6 scale, glow in the dark and all. And he is sick. Uh, it was custom job, custom metal machete. Just super awesome, and the mask is removable on the two of these, except for the side show that's sitting in the middle with the X. Um, I wanted to do something different with this display, so I decided to do three bigs, three NECA figures. Um, and my favorite Roy, believe it or, or my favorite Jason, believe it or not, excuse me, is Roy. Roy Burns from Part 5. Um, I really like that particular uh, Jason because... I just like the movie. I think it was Tommy was good. I just think the whole movie was really good. The guy riding the, the bike screaming. It's one of my favorites as a kid. So I just naturally gravitate to that one. But I've got two part threes here technically and a part five. Um, so this is the NECA. This is the San Diego Comic-Con version. This is another NECA. This is just a standard part three. And then this is a NECA. And this is the one with the, the, the clothing. Uh, Ray Burns, and then this is my Ray Burns in the back, 1-6 scale, holding the mask, sick head sculpt, just an amazing figure. I, I, I really like that one too. Super duper awesome. And the side show's not bad. I'm still working on I'm buffing him up a little bit because I think he's a little slimmer than I would, than I imagined him being, but not a bad figure at all. So really, really cool. So here, and oh, in the back, I forgot my my uh movie poster my 3d poster friday the 13th is back there and it is sick as well i this is a good place for it i'm on display it a little differently so you can see it and appreciate it uh because you really can't because jason's standing in the way but man is it a amazing display these jasons a lot of people come over and they they're instantly drawn to my jasons 
Moving down, two more Jasons and a Leatherface. That's a remake Leatherface. I just finished this particular Jason. This is my New Blood, part seven. Um, I started with the, and that's his COA right there for that head scope from One's Custom. Um, I started with the head scope from One's Customs that I got from a fellow collector, and then I bought the Sideshow, um, the old school Sideshow, part seven. Took that head scope and used the extra mask that I had to make the busting out scene just to have it. But I went through and I weathered the body. I wet it up. I repainted all the joints, made everything look white and just look all disgusting. Painted the ribs. Everything is, is really wet in there. And he just looks freaking amazing. Gave him a machete he just killed somebody with. It's just an awesome figure. I, this figure was also very, I shortened this chain. Um, it was very thin, so I made him a lot bigger because Kane Hodder, who played Jason uh, in this movie, was a lot bigger. He had big shoulders, and he was wider, so that was one of the things that I worked on. So if you look here, he's got some, some girth to him. He's a big boy. So I really wanted to do that with my Jason Part 7. I'm really proud with how this turned out. Um, you know, it's not 100% screen accurate, but people know what it is when they see it, and I really just love looking at it, and that's why we do this. Um, I did put the head on a ball joint so it can move around a little bit. Um, so, And the mask, of course, definitely comes off just like with most of these. So you can see that mug. So, yeah, it's a really cool figure. Really happy to have him. I think he looks great. I think he turned out great. So, yes, my Jason. Uh, my wife bought me this one. Uh, this is from Freddy vs. Jason, and this is a sideshow, and it's actually a great figure. I'm going to do a little bit of weather into that jacket. I think it looks a little plain, but um, yeah, this is that one. I think it's a really cool figure. Really happy to have it. Thanks, um, KQ. So yeah, this is a, this is really cool. I, I, I'm waiting on another head scope for this leather face. This one's not horrible, but it's not my favorite. I don't like the way he's looking, so... I'm going to, you know, everything else I really like, like the chainsaw, I like the mallet, of course, and I like the outfit, but we still got some work to do on this guy. So this shelf, again, just like all the rest of my shelves will be changing, but this is a snapshot for the end of the year. All right, guys, we still got a lot to look at once we get past these detolves. So stay with me. Stay with me. All right. Let's go up top to my other shelf. Uh, right, here's my other uh, one's Customs head scope right here, my Dick Warlock Part 2. And I've got him with the scalpel in his hand, just standing straight up, looking kind of weird. Uh, that Michael Myers is sitting back. Here's another kit bash that I have when he got shot in both eyes. Another customizer made that head for me. But I really like it, and I like it for my Myers display. This is the NECA display, and this is with uh, Dr. Loomis facing off with Mike on the steps. He's ready to roll. Another customizer made this sign that says Stroll Realty and made me a lot of other cool pieces that I have. Made me this pumpkin and then that pumpkin actually does light up. So just a really cool piece. Love Dr. Loomis. I'm hope hopefully going to get a 1.6 version of him at some point. We'll just have to wait and see, but I'm hoping to have that. Next shelf down is more Jasons. Um, and we've got Mother Jason who, uh, Pamela Voorhees on the right, the first Jason that started it all. Then we've got her head that Jason took after, you know, it got lopped off at the end of the first movie. Uh, we've got Jason's tombstone there. We've got the sack there. I like to display them unmasked when I can because it just looks unique to me. We've got one of my favorite looks for Jason, which is the remake Jason in the back. He's also got his sack down, but I've got him in the hockey mask. We've got another part three. This is the battle damage without the mask with the X. We've got a part four right there, which is very similar to part three, a little different in the pack coloring, as you can see. Um, and then we've got a uh, part six back there, which also looks really cool as well. So really, really neat. All right, buck your seatbelts because we're going into Predator Land next after we take one more look at all the Michael Myers, oh, excuse me, all the Jason stuff that I've got. All right, so as we get into these Predators, I'm not going to name all of these guys off. Um, these are some Kenner remakes. Uh, these are a lot of different ones. A uh, AVP stuff. 
This is the clan leader right up front. Um, I did pre-order the throne for him from Big Bad Toy Store. So I will be getting that hopefully soon. But these are sick. Really, really love these guys. I just, oh, Jesus, I'm going to knock everything over, fall over. Uh, they're really cool. There's a serpent hunter right there. Um, these are just really sick. And when we go down to the next shelf, you get more. You get, uh, and they got, they, look, they call him an alien. How about that? So you get two wolf predators, you get the heavy armor, and you get the non-heavy armor. And the difference is, is that he's only got one gun on this side, but on this one, he's got two guns. Um, then you see the jungle hunter, the city hunter, they're all down here. And you see the folk, the, the predators at the end of the, the part two, when Danny Glover kills the city hunter and they give him the musket. Though so That's what these predators come from. So just really sweet. And my friend, um, he hooked me up with these. So the the ones in the back. So I have to thank him a lot. And this is actually the wrong uh, alien, but I fit him there because I thought he looked best with these guys. But that's actually the AVP uh, alien the that uh, was fighting with Celtic, I believe. This shelf we've not done a lot with yet, but we will be doing some more with. Um, these are my three Chuckies that I bought, and I want to display these primary three heads, uh, head scopes from part one, part two, and part three. And I still got some other stuff to do on this shelf, but you guys wouldn't believe. In the box, you get this little box for your Get God doll, but I did a lot of customizing to this because I'm just... I was curious uh, to see if I could make it darker in there to make him look more menacing and make him look a little more spooky. And I think I was able to achieve it. So what I did was I used some black matting material and I blacked out that box. I also wanted to make it a little heavier. And then I blacked out both sides to really squeeze him in and lock him in place. So he looks like a doll display, like I would expect him to look. But it's also got a, a hint of darkness to it, some shadows. So I thought that this would really really go over and be really cool and i think it did and then we've got part let's see this is part two chucky when he's carried to whoop the teacher with that ruler and then this is part three where his face gets cut in the amusement park i love the chucky films these are some amazing chuckies the ultimates that just recently came out and my toys R Us only got three and my wife and i we bought all three sorry my finger got in there we bought all three because they're just such amazing scopes really glad to have these now, I've got a lot of figures uh, stored away. This is just what I've got on display right now, but I just wanted to show you some other stuff that's down here. Um, we've got the OG Alien right there um, from Alien Part 1. We've got Beetlejuice, of course. Can't go around with Beetlejuice. We've got another Chucky there about to blast you. We've got a Possessed Ash there. Ultimate, that's what I decided to do. We've got the Recorder when he played the... The chant that brought everybody back to life. You got the head. Um, you've got another Candyman here. Got a custom Michael Myers here on the Roy Burns body that I had, uh, that I bought from a trade show. We've got uh, the tall man from Phantasm, which is freaking awesome. And we've got one of his minions he's holding on the head. We've got uh, Freddy Krueger with no... Burns. This is before the burns, but he's got the glove. I want to say you can see it right there. Uh, and then we've got another pumpkin head back there in the background. And this is a mix of NECA and McFarlane. Um, we've got Leatherface with the pretty woman mask on, which is cool. Got the mallet up, and he's got a butcher knife in that hand. Lots of blood going on. I have uh, ordered the 3016 scale version, so I'll have that this year. Old Man Ash, Ash vs. Evil Dead. Super sweet. And this is just a hodgepodge shelf that I like to look at from time to time. Got a lot of cool figures, and I swap these out a lot. So, really cool. All right. We've made it through the Detolve section, which is cool. Let me go flip the light on so you guys can see, because I got a lot more to show you, like I said. Let these lights warm up a little bit. So, here we are. And... Hopefully you guys can see what's going on a little bit. And let me step back so I can give you a better look at everything. So, boom. All right, so I do have some stuff that I haven't unboxed. I'm going to go through that too uh, just because. So, along the top here, I've got some of my Dragon Ball Z figs. And let me get on the couch, hopefully not kill myself. Uh, I've got some of my Dragon Ball Z stuff up here. 
I'm a big Vegeta fan, so I've got both Vegetas. I think I got a Goku somewhere. I've got some more Robocop stuff there. Got Ninja Turtle. And the rest of this is Marvel Legends. Um, I've got approximately 500 Legends, maybe a little more than that. But these are just some that I haven't taken out of the package. And it's pretty deep. I'm not going to go through all of those because we don't have the time. But just to kind of show you guys, it's pretty deep. So there's just a ton of them. Haven't stocked them up here yet, but I plan to. But on this other side, it's loaded with Legends as well. And there's just all different ones. You take your pick. I got a lot of rare ones that a lot of people are after. I've got some duplicates. So I just do like, I really do like to buy the Legends when I can get them. Um, on this bottom shelf here, got my tools in here right now. But I've got... SH Figure Arts Batman that a friend of mine gave me, which is really cool. They gave it to me as a Christmas gift. I've got a furnace for a Freddy, for one of my smaller Freddies, which is really awesome, that I picked up on Black Friday. Um, I'm going to get to at some point. Got some Transformers going on. I've got the masterpiece from the new film. And then I've got the OG, which I've not unboxed yet, but this one is slick. So we've got this one as well. So I'm going to unbox both of these at some point. I'll show you guys once I do that. Um, another friend gave me this old school Ghost Rider right here. <laughs> it's pretty much open. Um, but it's, I'm going to have to tape that down. It's old. This was sitting in my attic for years when I, uh, when I got it. But I've got this Ghost Rider. I hope you can see under here. We've got Venom, this huge Venom. And we've also got... A, a huge Spider-Man under there and we've got a yellow suit Wolverine back there hiding so hopefully you guys can see that uh, right here in the middle we've got a Freddy vs. Jason NECA diorama that I plan to put out this is one of my favorite pieces that I haven't shown yet this thing costs a fortune <laughs> this Megatron transforms into the gun with the stand just super cool Got him as well. I've uh, got Kota Bakia, Big Chap right there that I haven't taken out yet. Uh, I've got a Wolfman figure that I still got to take out. And I've got a Zoom. Uh, and this is the Masco 112. So my very first one, the only one I have right now, but really, really cool. All right, let's get to my diorama that I have set up. <laughs> I haven't shown you. I know you guys are like God. So um, right here, I've got a lot going on. This is all aliens. This is by far. This is probably my favorite movie, action movie. And I know some people say sci-fi action, sci-fi horror. I love this this movie. Let's get into it. So front and center, we have an alien warrior. We have a destroyed bishop. We have some glow in the dark eggs. We have some uh, regular eggs. We've got face huggers crawling everywhere. You've got Ripley grabbing the alien queen. And I've modified the controls so Ripley can hold them easily. Because if anybody has this power loader from NECA, that can be a problem. But um, you've got the queen and, and Ripley going at it front and center. On this side, you've got a destroyed alien by the gun um, that they set up. The turrets that they set up in the hall. Uh, you've got another alien that's lunging. That's taking shots to the chest. You've got Vasquez up front with the other um, Gatlet gun. And it's just super awesome. You've got Hicks and Hudson right there front and center. <laughs> just sick. And they're shooting their plasma guns. And you have Frost in the back. He didn't last too long, but he's got the flamethrower holding it down. On this side, we've got Newt with the Hatless Hope sign, and she's holding the computer that is controlling the turrets. And we have a face hugger. And I'm just leaving it up to your imagination. I don't know what happens. You have to tell me what happens. Does the face hugger get Newt or not? Which we'll I have to wait and see. But here's a, a view from the eight from the soldiers, from the Marines point of view, that this alien is jumping and it's all out war going on. So I get to look at this every day and you don't, you forget how cool it looks, but this is when people come over and they see this for the first time, they're like, this is amazing. On this side, you got some more eggs and you got another Ripley. She's about to burn those eggs. You've got an alien seeing not so fast hanging up on the wall there. 
and you've got that old snake Burke saying like, come on, come on, we can make some money off of this. Ripley, don't burn him up. You got another face hugger crawling out the side. So again, here's this diorama. This is on a six foot shelf, or I'm sorry, four foot shelf. So this is four foot of aliens with an S, goodness, that, you know, most people, if you're into those films, I think you'll appreciate. So it's really cool stuff. All right. Let's go to the other side of the room and let's talk Funko for a second. So got a lot of different Funko Pops here. Um, I'm going to go over my chases because I don't have many of them. And then I will go and just kind of pick out a few, just kind of show you guys around. But yes, I'm collecting a lot of Funkos. Tomorrow morning, I will be in line to get the Black Panther stuff at Hot Topic. Hopefully, I can get some chase figures. We'll see. But we've got, uh, this is the the first one I found in the wild. The first chase was the 11 with Egos. I got this one, these in protectors. Um, you've probably seen my video by now. If you haven't, go look. It was the last video of my Predator out of the blind box unboxing. Last one I got, got it for a Christmas gift and bada bing, bada boom. Super happy about that. Um, I just actually picked up this flocked beast man. So I have the unflocked and the flocked version. Love beast man, love master of the universe. Another major Marquez Warren right there. Uh, got Jack Torrance twice, the regular and the chase. I uh, got the Pennywise chase, the one with the new box. Uh, I was able to get that. I uh, got the old Pennywise, I've got the standard Pennywise, I've got the Pennywise with teeth, there's Freddy, I've got the Pennywise with balloon, and I've got the Dorb Pennywise. Uh, I am looking for the Pennywise with wig, so I hope I can get that at some point really soon. Um, Skeletor, Evil In up there, I've got Army of Darkness, Ash, He-Man, uh, Man Bat, uh, Specialty Series Funko, uh, Tigra. The Master Hellboy, um, the another Ash, Ash vs. Evil Dead, uh, my Goro, my Gold Dragon, Orko, uh, of course, Ellen Ripley. Uh, the Alien Queen is back over there. I uh, got some Attack on Titan stuff, as you saw, Stratos, uh, Aaron in the Jaeger, in the Titan form, excuse me, Blade, um, Voltron, Xeno, um, Neo, got some Preacher stuff, I got Cassidy. My wife's pop, Bell. <laughs> uh, I don't know what's back there. I got uh, Joker and Raiden. Uh, another 11 with Egos. John Wick. Face Hugger Orm, which is amazing. Really like that pop a lot. Uh, what is back here? Is that Preacher? Hold on. That is Preacher right there. Um, I wanted to show you guys my freaking Ghost Rider. He's awesome. He's hiding back here with the twins. So I'll show you that. There's the Shining Twins, the Grady Twins, and then there's my PX exclusive, and this, a previews exclusive, and this is the Glow in the Dark Ghost Rider. So that's a really cool pop. Really like that one as well. Um, if I had to pick my favorite out of all of these, damn, that's hard. That's Colossus up there. There's Scrooge with the money, Alpha 5. I don't know, man. That'd be tough. If I had to pick my, my favorite, favorite, favorite of all these pops, it'd probably be this uh, Jack Torrance or that Pennywise. Tough, because these are all really sick. Um, and I think this is Ant-Man again. Yeah, with Anthony. And I don't even know what's back there. Vulture, Glow in the Dark. It's a lot of cool stuff. All right, here's all the stuff I'm trying to sell. So I'll show you that too, shameless plug. Uh, my SH Figure Art stuff that I've got. Um, Robocop. Uh, Venom, uh, Iron Man, and Captain America, and my Batman. All of these stuff, this stuff is for sale. Walter White, Breaking Bad, PX Preview, and this particular, I can't remember what you call this thing. This Superman is for sale. All the Power Rangers, I'm getting out of this line, so I'm selling all my Rangers. Um, and this is the whole line except the Green Ranger. But this is all the original Mighty Morphins. Selling both of these guys as well. These were a biatch to get, but they have to sell. I don't have anywhere for them. And it was an impulse buy. thought I wanted them at the time. And I ended up, I did want them, but brand new. Just really cool. So all this stuff I'm going to be listing on eBay. Just really cool. So um, this is my sale stuff. And I got to get it all sorted out so I can... 
I can do that. So I'll post all this stuff so I can buy more stuff. Uh, here are my bikes, <laughs> which also sit in this room. I told you this room's tight. Um, got my knives out too. But we've got uh, my Grand Fondo and my Specialized. I do ride both of these bikes and I like both of them a lot. Uh, I like my Fuji more, but I do ride both. So yeah, to each his own. Um, and in this corner, I've got my very large Voltron. I can't remember who makes this. I think Toynami makes this one. Um, my Mezco Lino and Mumra, which are sweet. Uh, Mumra does glow in the dark. Um, and then my Dawn of the Dead figures, which I have Flyboy, um, the plaid shirt, and then my Day of the Dead Dr. Tongue. On this shelf, we've got more uh, Legends figures. Got Legends for Days, I told you guys. Um, I've got some vintage, some of the vintage figures. I think I got Wolverine, uh, Spider-Man, and the Punisher back there. So those are the vintage figures. Um, I do have my Pulp Fiction uh, jewels. I've got the other two Pulp Fiction figures that came out too, which are Bruce Willis and uh, what's his name? Marcellus. So I got the Marcellus. So I got both of those. Um, I've got, I don't have any Air, Last Airbender stuff right now, unfortunately. Um, I've got Chief Hopper and I've got Eleven from the, this is from the, the Netflix Stranger Things 7-inch line from uh, McFarlane. Um, I, I ran into these. Let me show you these. I want to pull these out because this is cool. I ran into these the other day at my, you just never know when you go to Second and Charles, but I got all of these for like 40 bucks, which is a steal. Um, Cinema of Fear, Freddy, for 40 bucks, guys, that's a freaking steal. Got Freddy, I got freaking Jason, look at that. And I got uh, the Roach Girl, if you watch the old Freddy movies. When he crushed her, it was gross. This is old. I got it with a game, my book, for my bookends. And I got over here as well. Let me pull this out so you guys can see. I told you, we're going to show you everything tonight. Ugh. Got some more Predators over there that still need to be unboxed and need to go on the shelf. So we've got another Jason Ultimate, which is sweet. I got. I need to steal that, that tombstone because it's Pamela Voorhees. Uh, but this is this one, so I'll be opening this one soon. Um, we've got um, the Jungle Hunter Unmasked. Check for some diorama pieces. We've got my man Dutch. Check. We've got the Jungle Hunter Prototype Mask, which is sweet. And we've got the Jungle Demon, which is also sweet. And then we've got the Neomorph back here which I got at Dragon Con this year. So, really cool. I just haven't had a chance to go through everything because it's just a lot. Um, the whole King Shark wave down here. Um, I've got some other figures, so, sh some Shazams. Uh, I got another Predator down there. I think that's the, the, let me see if I can get over there without moving my bikes. Hold on. I've got, yeah, the Ahab Predator over in this corner right here. I don't know if it's, gonna, if it's enough light to focus. But I've got some Shazam figures. So I got a lot of stuff. Uh, that still needs to be unboxed. Um, I do still also have in my hallway closet. Hopefully I can show you that without there being anything crazy. Um, this is where my overflow is, is in this closet. So it was full. I've cleaned it out pretty good. But I've got figures still all the way up here. I've got my 2001 Godzilla. I don't even know what the hell all this stuff is. Um, and I've got the whole, almost the whole alien wave here. Um, so it's a lot of figures. Open this door, so close on me. I've got the Nightmare on Elm Street. This is the Freddy from, I forget which Freddy it is. I think it's the New Nightmare. Sin City figure, uh, Prometheus. And a couple different from the original Alien movie. And I think these are all Texas Chainsaw right here. Uh, this was not, this is a Bubba Hotel. This is, 
I forget what his name is. Chop Top, I think. But yeah, Chop Top, the art on these is sick. And Leatherface from part two. So that's pretty much everything that's on reserve right now. And I got an old Atari up there. So yeah, folks, that's pretty much it. 50 minutes. Thank you so much for watching. Um, thank you for staying with me. Thank you for uh, being interested. Um, I will go ahead and, and do some cooler titles soon. And I'll let you know once my room, once these two shelves get cleared up and I rearrange, I'll do a detolf only section that's not quite as long. So, yeah, um, this is a lot of stuff. Thanks. Have a happy new year. I mean it. Be safe. And I wish you nothing but, but joy and prosperity this year. Uh, I'm out of here.